Today we are calibrating the TDS Tester 11. This calibration procedure is the same for all the testers in the series. To perform this calibration, you will need the following, a beaker, calibration solution, and a tester. When choosing a calibration standard, be sure it is within the specified range of your tester. This information is available in your instruction manual. In our calibration, we use the standard 8,974 microsiemens, which is equivalent to 7.60 parts per thousand. Choose the TDS value off the label on your standard according to the type of samples you will be measuring. To ensure an accurate and stable calibration, you should condition your tester in water or alcohol for 30 minutes prior to calibration. Before we can begin calibration, we need to gain access to the control buttons located in the battery compartment. To do this, grip the tester firmly in one hand and twist off the battery cap in a counterclockwise direction. Be sure to retain the O-ring located underneath the cap. You can now see the increase and decrease buttons along with the batteries. Place the tester in a beaker containing enough calibration standard to completely cover the two metal pins, and then turn on the tester. Next press either the increase or decrease control buttons to enter calibration mode. Cal 1 point will be displayed on the screen. Adjust the value using the increase or decrease button until it matches the value of your standard. In our example, it should read 7.60 parts per thousand. Once you've reached the value of your standard, let the tester sit for 5 seconds and the bottom of the display will show CO to let you know the calibration is confirmed. The tester will then return to measurement mode and you are now ready to measure your sample. Over time, the sensor may require replacement. If the tester will not calibrate or shows unstable readings, you may need to replace the sensor. To do this, unscrew the collar where the sensor attaches to the tester body using a counterclockwise motion. Remove the collar, ensuring you retain the two O-rings. Once the collar is removed, carefully pull the sensor from the body of the tester. You can now replace the sensor by pushing it back into the body, making sure the pins are correctly aligned. Replace the O-rings and screw the collar back into the tester body using a clockwise motion. After replacing the sensor, make sure you calibrate the tester and maintain a calibration schedule.